We're Marco with Love, and you're watching the A Sides. What's up, guys? Hello. Hey. Thanks. That sounded great. Thanks. So, we've been practicing. It did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. You don't believe me? No, not completely. No, it was great. So, I'm not with like the entire band right now. So, no. is this just like Marco with some love? Is that? It's. Uh, can we say like with some love? Yeah, uh, just a little bit. Just a little, little bit of love. A little bit of love. A little yeah. bit of love. But it goes a long way. A little bit of love. It does. That could be in parentheses. Yeah, exactly. Definitely like, Marco there's a song with title, it would be in parentheses. Marco with. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. So talk to me about the new record. I love, by the way, I love the album uh, artwork. If you want to start first, right? Yeah, cover, yeah. cover art. Cover art. Let's yeah. go with cover art, because um, they kind of represent how your sound is. So yeah. um, talk to me a little bit about cover art, because no one really does anymore since everything's digital. Sure. And just talk to me about the record and why was now the time to come out with a song called Love. That's another. Thing. It's an important theme that a lot of people can get behind. It's kind of the basis of everything in life. I think uh, it's something every, everybody can get behind it. And it's, uh, it, this is the first album that it's been included on for Mark With Love. And we cut it in Brooklyn at a really cool studio and thought it was fitting for the album. So, and that's where we actually got the name Mark With Love from, was that, origin that song. It was one of the first songs that we started working with as a band. And talk yeah. to me about um, Big Black Dog, which you also played your son. Yeah. A uh, little political undertones on that? A little bit, yeah. Very subtle, Definitely. though. Yeah, I mean, they're there. I mean, it was, as it was being written, a lot of things were happening uh, around our country that uh, I felt needed to be discussed and talked about and not really pushed to the side. But I didn't want to be overtly in your face about it. It's just kind of like getting people to think for themselves and form their own opinions and dig a little bit deeper. And I mean, we're all connected, so... This was a song that I felt strongly about and wanted to pin those lyrics. Well, thank, say something, you know. Thank goodness the world is in such a better place now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah. all right, so the record just came out, like, literally a couple of days ago. Yeah. So, I mean, what are your immediate plans? I mean, obviously, you know, a record comes out, you start talking about touring, yeah. and then we get into spring, especially summer, and the festivals kind of come up. Yeah. So what's, what's the next couple of yeah, weeks, months year look like for you guys? Uh, we're looking to get back out on the road. Um, we're looking to be a part of the festival circuit in the summer and uh, get right back into the studio as well. We love we love recording, we love writing new songs and we've got a lot of stuff. We're, we're always working so it's exciting for us to get back in a room and create, you know. And this, this album, Smothered and Covered, was just a, a collection of various EPs that we had done previously and then some new songs and the whole theme with smothered and covered, having half covers and half originals. This kind of buys us some time until we can do another full length. We want to give people music and we like the long play format and so that was an opportunity to put this out. Awesome. So we're looking forward to the future of the band. How do you feel about um, people releasing EPs? I mean, people have always released EPs really. versus full length. I mean, we kind of live in a single only driven kind of Short, short attention now. span, right? Exactly. Yeah. Well, we did that. I mean, we've we've been doing EPs, and it's a good format. We love the EP. Yeah. It works for us. It's if somebody's not 100% sold at a live show, they can take home a piece of music, you know, a single with the B side and or the EP, and kind of get a taste for the band. And hopefully, we draw them in, and they'll come around and buy the LP from when that came out. And that's what we're doing now. But no, yeah, it's a it's a smart move. It's you don't have as much production costs for that amount of songs, you know? So right. for a new baby band, I think it's the wise choice to do rather than printing all your eggs and doing a full length right away, you know, especially being unknown. When you guys um, are performing the songs, like uh, live, um, <coughs> how often do you switch them up? I mean, do you, do you play it straight through how it sounds on the album or are you like Kanye who just is probably still reworking his album? No, I mean, we always, we try to do justice to the, the uh, our live show. We try to do justice to the, the recordings, at, whereas we'll bring in um, a baritone sax player that's been playing, that's on a couple of the songs on the record. We have a pedal steel player, uh, Blaine O'Brien, who's not here with us today, but he's on all the songs as well. And we try to incorporate all the things sonically that we do in the studio live. That's the ultimate goal, I think, right, right. for us, is to be able to put on the best production possible, you know? We're all multi-instrumentalists, so 
Like, for example, I'm the bass player for Mark Boyd Love, but, you know, today's performance, it's nice to mix it up. So, same thing with uh, the drummer tries to play his parts backwards most of the times. Yeah. Just kind of mix it up, you know? Okay. A little surprise That's element. Cool. So. He, in, in, re in rehearsal, I'm going to ask questions backwards and <laughs> see what yeah. happens. <laughs> neep, 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 neep. <laughs> when, when we're like working on new material, it's it's good to have this versatility because we can get in a room and alternate. I can get behind the drums, Peter can get on the guitar, you know, Lorenzo can do that. We can always alternate and kind of give a fresh perspective on the material because everybody has ideas to, uh, to throw into the pot to make the songs the best as possible. But it's, it's definitely a a good working relationship, having everybody being able to do that. Now, how do you feel the other members are going to feel if they didn't experience what we're experiencing? Oh, right they're now? missing out. They're definitely missing out. They're home and they're they're weeping right now. I hope so. Yeah, puddles. It's not that far of a trip. No, it? it's yeah. really far. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> you're a no, they're a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> they're wor you know they're wor they they would they're here in spirit. They want to be here, yeah. but sadly the idea you know when you're when not you're accused, touring and you're yeah. no when you're living in New York, it yeah. makes it a little bit more difficult to get every. But we still have day jobs as yeah, well, I you know, it. and so Blaine's working right now, Peter's working right now. It's the only reason they're not here. They love yeah. you. They really Do want they? to be here. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how it feels to have a day job. Yeah. Me too. I mean, the cool thing about it is, like, we're all musicians, yeah. and we are invested in other, like, personal projects and other stuff, too, so Peter's actually heading to Canada today to play music, Canadian Music Week, so cool. that's what makes this group of uh, musicians unique, you know, that's what kind of adds the sound, uh, the goofiness, uh, the weirdness, and the fun on stage, you know, it's, it's all part of the, uh, uh, what's essentially, like, the music scene, you know, we're, we're really keen on curating that and it kind of speaks to the LPs too you know it's like there's a lot of conversation about like well why is there a movement towards singles and EPs and then you have bands like Arcade Fire who are releasing concept albums right. so like that's the norm you know when you love the music and you're into it um, and you enjoy the nuances of production you know musicality uh, all the little details that make it great you know that's what we like to yeah, essentially. Over, right. Overall, Mark with Love is kind of a collective as well. That's where the beauty of being able to pull in other musicians and other players and expand on the sound. That's for me. It keeps it exciting, you know. Awesome. Everybody is definitely uh, brings brings to the table their their talents, and it's pretty awesome. How long did you guys know each other? Seven what, years. Maybe? Uh, yeah, seven years ish. Yeah. 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 Almost as long as we know each other. Exactly. Yeah, that's good. It's like seven, seven minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us. Thanks yeah, very awesome. much. We appreciate your support. Thanks, man. Yeah.